The sun is slowly waking up. NASA warns that there may be more extreme space weather for decades to come. As we know, extreme space weather, solar activity, means we have extreme geological activity. A new NASA study suggests that solar activity will remain high or rise further in the coming decades. Contradicting previous assumptions that the sun was quieting down, and scientists do not completely understand what is happening. NASA scientists are warning the sun may be waking up for a brief period of relative inactivity, contradicting past assumptions about our home star. If true, this could mean that decades of potentially dangerous space weather are in store. The sun follows a roughly 11-year cycle of solar activity that begins with a prolonged quiet period known as a solar minimum and builds towards an explosive peak known as a solar maximum when our home star frequently spits out powerful solar storms at us. And this pattern is known as a sunspot cycle because of the number of dark patches on the sun's surface rises and falls with solar activity. The sunspot cycle is in turn governed by a longer 22-year cycle known as the hail cycle which uh, during which the sun's magnetic field entirely flips and then reverses back again. But in addition to the sunspot and hail cycles, the sun also experiences long-term fluctuations in solar activity that can span multiple decades and are much harder to predict or explain. Examples include periods between 1645 to 1715, known as the Maunder Minimum, and between 1790 and 1830, known as the Dalton Minimum, when solar activity was generally much lower throughout successive sunspot cycles. Back in the early 2000s, downward trending solar activity led some scientists to believe that we were possibly entering a new deep solar minimum, and this theory gained traction after the last solar maximum between 2013 and 2014, which was much weaker than previous cycles. However, the current sunspot cycle, which has just peaked, has massively upended this theory. In a new study published September 8 in Astrophysical Journal Letters, researchers analyzed multiple metrics of solar activity, including solar wind, magnetic field strength, and sunspot numbers, and found that they have been on an upward trend since the year 2008 and could rise further over future cycles, suggesting that the deep solar minimum theory is well and truly dead. All signs were pointing to the sun going into a prolonged phase of low activity, study lead author Jamie Jasinski, plasma physicist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California, said in a NASA statement. He says, so it was a surprise to see that trend reverse. The sun is slowly waking up. We are currently coming towards the end of the sun's most recent solar maximum, which officially began in early 2024 and has not played out as expected. When the current sunspot cycle began in late 2019, experts from the Space Weather Prediction Center, SWPC, which included scientists from NASA and the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, predicted that solar maximum would most likely begin somewhere in 2025 and be comparable to the previous weaker cycle. However, as the current cycle progressed, it quickly became clear that this was not the case and that solar maximum would arrive sooner and be much more active than initially predicted. SWPC scientists later acknowledged their mistake, issuing their first ever updated forecast, which came just in time for solar maximum's arrival. Since then, the sun has reached its highest number of sunspots in more than 20 years and spat out a record number of powerful X-class flares, the most powerful type of explosion the sun is capable of producing. During the current maximum, Earth has also been hit by several major geomagnetic storms or disturbances to the planet's magnetic field. The most noteworthy was an extreme event in May 2024, 
which triggered some of the most vibrant aurora displays in centuries and caused over $500 million in damages. And now the new study warns that what we have witnessed over the past few years will likely become the status quo over the next few decades. And this could be especially problematic because humanity has become much more reliant on technologies that are prone to interference from space weather, such as power grids, GPS-controlled machinery, and Earth-orbiting satellites, which can be knocked out of the sky by solar storms. This is currently unclear. Why the Sun experienced a blip in solar activity over the past few decades or what may be driving its current resurgence. The longer term trends are a lot less predictable and are something we don't completely understand yet, Jasinski said. Another study from earlier this year proposed that the recent surge in activity could be part of a lesser known and understudied 100 year solar cycle known as the Centennial Gleisberg Cycle. However, the newest study does not mention this at all. This is by Harry Baker on Live Science. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.